Welcome to Sippy Cup Adventures of Northern California. In this episode, we're going to talk about the best accommodations in Tahoe. Right after this swoosh of our logo. Cheers. I'm Patty. I'm Darren. And we are a channel that is exclusive to travel in Northern California. And today we're going to talk about the best way to stay in Lake Tahoe. So when you go to Tahoe, especially during the summer, listen, there's tons of places to stay. There's hotels, there's motels, there's camping, there's RVing, there's resorts, there's luxury stays, there's Airbnbs, Verbos, all that. But we really like to get a place that is a resort that has its own private beach. And the reason for that, especially during the summer, is that, you know, instead of trying to fight crowds and find a beach that isn't crowded, you know, fighting parking and paying for parking, if you get a resort that has its own private beach, it's all self-included, you don't have to, you don't even have to leave your stay. Okay, there really are a lot of options when it comes to beach resorts. In this video, we're going to highlight a few and then there'll be more links in the description below. Um, most of these resorts do charge a resort fee. It's to use their toys and the um, other amenities that they offer. Water toys. Water, <laughs> water toys. And it's about, what, 30 to $50 a day? You lost me on toys. I'm trying to overcome that. Water toys, people. Where are your minds at? Seriously. Are there toys that go in water? Like bathtub toys or? Rubber duckies, yeah. Okay. In this video, we're not gonna give prices because um, the prices fluctuate quite a bit. Um, but we can tell you that in the fall season, the, which is called in between seasons after summer and school starts and before winter time the prices are the best in Tahoe and you can see from this video why we say the fall time is the best time to visit Tahoe but let's start with uh, some hotels on the south shore I mean there's about four or five of these resorts all lined up on south shore by ski run marina uh, yeah we stayed here at our last time back in early July when our son and the Navy came and uh, visited with, with us, with his girlfriend, and then our daughter and her boyfriend came over the hill. So it was, a, it was a nice day. They have their own little tiki bar on the weekends. Patty and our daughter Kaylee partook in that. They have the boathouse on the pier. They've got Sidelines Sports Pub, which is currently closed. Maybe it's a post-pandemic thing and they just can't staff it. But I don't believe their beach is private, but nonetheless, it's there. I mean, there were a lot of people, as you see by this video, on the day that we visited, of course, this was, you know, early July. Right next to the beach retreat is the Tahoe Lakeshore Lodge and Spa. Their beach is truly private. We stayed, we stayed there a couple of years ago and it's only for the residents staying there. Um, so it's less crowded. And we got this beautiful uh, sunset view right here from this unit. This place, I think a lot of the condos, they're condos and I think they're all privately owned, which means if the owners are staying in them, 
that's less vacancy. So that's something I'd like to find out is that a lot of these resorts, you know, which ones are privately owned units. Um, so if I get that information, I'll definitely share with you. What I really like about this spot is it is right next door to Heidi's Pancake House. Yummy food. Yeah, so. And great service. Yeah, advantage of the Tahoe Lakeshore Lodge and Spa. Got Heidi's right there. Good stuff. The Lakeland Village Resort at Heavenly. Um, beautiful place, we haven't stayed there. Now it's like three quarters of a mile to Heavenly, so it's not at Heavenly, but it's a Heavenly oh. uh, owned property. So you can, if you're into snow skiing, you can get your tickets while there, and of course they'll shuttle you there. Doesn't say that they have their own private beach, but there's a beach right, right in front of the property. So it's a thin beach, so it's not gonna be heavily populated, but Yep, Lakeland Village Resort at Heavenly. That's technically not at Heavenly. All right, the Tahoe Beach and Ski Club has their own private beach, albeit um, a small one, um, but they do have one. And it's located right next door to the Tahoe Sports Ski Run Boat Company, where you can rent a boat. And it's also right next door to Riva Grill on the lake. We've been to Riva Grill. It's good. Good food. Nice atmosphere. Yeah. Richardson. Um, they have lots of options for stays. Uh, there's the Richardson House, there's the Historic Hotel, it's called the Historic Hotel. Yep. The Beachside Inn, they have uh, cabins, they have tent camping and RV access. And it's right on the beach. Yeah, a lot of options at Camp Richardson. Like I said, the, the Beacon Restaurant, we've been there a couple times and really known for their rum runners. Not hurting. I said hurricanes, whatever. But uh, great place for lunch. And the beach is right there. Again, it's a thrown private beach, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, it's a touristy spot. But Camp Richardson Beautiful. sometimes will we'll give that a shot. Many options to stay there. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm up. Get back in frame. All right, moving on to the North Shore. Um, we stayed at Moralato's Lakeshore Resort. Um, it was a really nice stay. We stayed there a couple of times. They have all the lake amenities, including stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, and they even have their own um, water trampoline. Yeah, something you bounce on that's out in the, in the water. We noticed it at our last stay uh, it's huge. last month, but it looked like you know, a lot of fun. Yeah, they had a resort fee when we were there. The one one of the days was really windy, so they they didn't charge us the thirty dollars resort fee because even if we wanted to do stand up paddleboard or kayak, and we wouldn't have been able to. So it was nice of them to realize it, it was sunny, it was warm, it was just windier than heck. But uh, you know, a nice day. These places are, uh, oh, here comes the squirrel again. We can't get rid of this squirrel, I swear to God. <laughs> we will edit that out, but Darren's chasing the squirrel off so that he doesn't come and try and Literally, attack Literally, it's been us. jumping up on the table. It's like no one out here. It's like, give us food. There Proof goes. positive, don't feed the wildlife, people. They shouldn't be so happy to see us. So then he goes and lays down and looks like a cat. He just lays down like, okay, I'm good. He spoofs or sploots, whatever. <laughs> All right. Right next to Moralados is probably our favorite state. We've stayed there about three times on the North Shore in Tahoe City is uh, the Fr Franciscan Lakeside Lodge. And here's some video of that. Real cute little cabins, um, very well done, right on the water. Uh, they're all individually owned, most of them. So, you know, the owners take, take good care of them. And one thing it would suggest is that, especially with the Franciscan, is that 
to, they said to call. Call to see if there's places. And that kind of goes with any of these resorts. I think if it's a spontaneous trip, which Patty and I are most likely to do spontaneous, we wanna make sure the weather's good and there's no fire in the area. So we've learned to call these resorts instead of looking them up online. Now, if you're you know, planning a trip six, to eight months, a year in advance, you'll probably be okay reserving these places online. But for uh, kind of last minute, within two weeks or three weeks, I would definitely call any of these places. As we've mentioned many times before, we are mostly spontaneous with our trips to Tahoe because we have to make sure that there are no fires. This is a Friday during early August. And then the next day, here at Riva Grill, you can see all the smoke. All the smoke from the Dixie fire came in. Now imagine people who made reservations months in advance to come here this weekend, and this is what they got. It's tough being in California and Nevada. Now another resort is Zephyr Cove Resort on the southeastern shore of Lake Tahoe. There are many different types of accommodations here. Now it is kind of known as the party beach for the young folk, so to say. They're not going to be staying the night there, but during the day they may come out and party. So just be aware that the beach is open to the public. One place Patty and I would really like to try, maybe this fall we will try that, is the Rustic Cottage Resort and Motel where they've got, you know, their own individual cottages and cabins. Really like this one. Moonstone Beach is right across the street and that's basically their beach. And of course there are some high-end, you know, stays or resorts um, like the Lodge at Edwood Resort. You know, they have their own beach, they have their own golf course, you know, it's pricey. The lodge at Edgewood, Tahoe, definitely a ritzy place. It's located right here, as you can see, the casinos are right by Edgewood. So if that's your thing, you can definitely visit the casinos. But they do have their own golf course, Edgewood. We stayed here for our honeymoon, and the day we got here, way back when, whatever year we were married, <laughs> we wanted to golf, but it was closed down for the winter time. The day we arrived, can you imagine that? The Hyatt, the Hyatt has a main unit, then it has some units on the water. They have their own beach. Then you've got the Ritz Carlton, uh, which is really in Truckee, you know, exclusive. It's it's in Truckee. There's not a beach there, so they'll of course shuttle you there. But you know, you've got your high end prices. But we stick to the 250, 300 dollar a night range, and we can typically get that in the the fall time. We don't go during the winter time, and we rarely go in the summertime. We went on Halloween and uh, it snowed. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the forecast. We would have checked the forecast, but. Newbies. So we got snowed in and stayed an extra night. We were staying at the postmark on the South Shore. And then once it cleared up, we, we drove home. But it was te technically fall because it was October 31st. How spooky is that? And we'll leave some links in the description below on some other higher priced places if you're interested. You didn't get it? How spooky was that? I got it. Okay. I just didn't think it was funny. <laughs> Touche. Jesus. So, a little addendum here as we dodge the squirrel. And we're out here at our home lake at Folsom Lake filming this today. And there is no water in the lake. 
it's really sad. It's August 8th and there should, there should be water up to here and families out here enjoying a picnic area. And we are literally the only ones out here except for another family. And the father decides he's gonna walk by talking on his speakerphone, you know, so we could hear him and his car. You got the whole lake. And you, you walk right by us because you see we're filming here. The trials of YouTube and the challenges. Can y'all see him? That is the pesky little squirrel. Go away. Yeah. This is what happens when people feed him. He won't go away. Big mold. So thanks for watching Sippy Cup Adventures. We hope this video was helpful about getting resorts, if you can, that have their own private beach when going to Tahoe. So we'll see you on the next video. And right here, it's gonna give you a video that it thinks is best for you, YouTube thinks is best for you, and a chance to subscribe. Thanks guys. Cheers. <laughs>